instruments are just silly drummers who play some beats like <laughs> or do a cadence like I just did. But percussionists are so much more. Percussionists, uh, percussionists also play several other instruments, each unique in their own way. Hi, I'm Alec Ward, and I'm and I am a percussionist in my high, in several of my high school bands. I have also been to state solo and ensemble three times and have gotten gold medals each time. And I've also participated in 4-H band. And today, I am here to, to tell you how to appreciate percussion. To appreciate percussionists, you need to know three main points. You need to know what a percussionist does, what percussionists play, and what and how percussionists play their instruments. What a percussionist does. Percussionists are there to keep time. They're the backbeat of the band. Percussionists are also there to give some effects and pizzazz. Percussionists are also there for an entertainment factor. If you guys have ever seen the Muppets, you all know who this is. This is Animal. An animal is a, a crazy drummer, similar to all percussions. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I'm going to show you guys a clip of my church's praise band. See what it sounds like when you add a percussionist in. As you can see, the whole band was a little bit to get a little bit more together, and plus it made it a little bit more interesting to listen to. What a percussionist plays. There are three main types of percussion instruments. There are the drums, the mallets, and the auxiliary. First off, we have the drums. In the drums, there are three different categories. Concert drums, auxiliary drums, and marching drums. First, we have concert drums. These drums are here to keep time for the band. You have a snare drum, which you, which you would just use normal drumsticks for. You have a bass drum, which is similar to the snare, but has a deeper sound. And you would use mallets similar to this, but they would be a lot bigger. Lastly, you also have timpani, which, which you would have four to five drums. Each drum has a pedal at the bottom, so you can tune it to a certain note, depending on what the music asks for. You would use mallets similar to this, but they would have a little bit more, um, they would have a little bit more cushioning on top. Next, we have auxiliary drums. Now, auxiliary drums are here to give the piece the feel that it needs. So if you were playing an African piece, you would play a uh, bongos or a uh, conga. These give a unique sound to the piece. You play these just using your hands. The other drum in this category is the, is the toms. The toms are similar to the snare by using the basic drumsticks. But the one difference is that, well, one, there's two, and also there are, they have deeper sounds. Lastly, there are the marching drums. They are very similar, similar to the concert drums, but you have a harness on so you can march around the field. There are, there's the snare, the quads, which the quads are just like the toms, but instead of two, there are five. And then there are bass drums. And instead of just one, you have five different bass drums, each one, each one tuned to a different note. Next, which are my favorite instruments, the mallet instruments. There are four different types of mallet instruments, each one a different size and is played a different way. First you have the bells, which are the smallest, and they use these plastic mallets. Next you have the xylophone. Which is, which is a little bit bigger, and you would use these soft rubber mallets. Next you have the vibraphone, which you would use these soft yarn mallets, and the vibraphone also has a pedal, so you can hold the notes out. Lastly, which is my favorite, is the marimba. You use these yarn mallets, and the cool part about the marimba is two people can play on it at the same time, one on the bass end, one on the high end, and you can get a unique sound going. Oh, all of a sudden, I'm not feeling too good. I think I got a fever. And the only prescription 
It's more cowbell. <laughs> Auxiliary instruments are the most fun instruments. I, um, I just quoted a line from the very famous Will Ferrell cowbell sketch from Saturday Night Live. Will Ferrell made the cowbell super famous. But along with the cowbell, the cowbell, there are so many other percussion um, auxiliary instruments. There's the castanets, the claves, train whistle, all aboard, woodblock, a triangle, dinner time, tambourine. A lot of the time, you'll see a tam you'll see the tambourine used in boy bands. <laughs> Next, we have the barracas, the jangle stick, and the rain stick. Auxiliary instruments are a lot of fun. Each and each has its own sound, and each is used to give a unique to give the feel that the piece needs. Lastly, how do you play percussion? Well, you need to know two things. You need to know how do you, you need to know how to play the instrument, and you need to know how to read the music. I just showed you guys how to play a lot of the different instruments, so I'm not going to go too much more into detail on that. But but how to read the music is a whole different thing. There are two different types of of uh, music. There's the auxiliary and drums music, and then there's the mallet music. The auxiliary <coughs> drums music only has one line, so you don't need to worry about reading the names of the notes but you need to worry about knowing how to read the patterns. But on the other hand, you have the mallet music, where you need to know how to read the patterns and the names of the notes. I have taught you all what a percussionist does, what a percussionist plays, and how you play percussion. Percussionists are the heartbeat of the band. They keep everyone in time. They're the glue that holds everything together. Without percussionists, the band would definitely not be, in t would not be as in time. A lot of the time, when you're at when you're at a concert, you'll be tapping your foot or dancing along with the percussion. I hope you all have learned a little bit today, and I hope you all appreciate appreciate percussionists a little more. Thank you.